Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 6, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. We're going to start today by doing some more query work. We're going to begin by making some address queries. The first query will be to see which customers are not missing any address information. They have an address, city, state, and zip code. That way we can correct our mailing label report to only send mailings to customers where we have a complete address. Then we'll make a second query to show any customers who are missing any bit of address information. So if someone's missing a zip code, for example, I can print out a list to hand to the secretary and say, hey, please call this customer and get their zip code. Then we're going to add employee data to our database. We'll start with an employee table. It'll be pretty similar to the customer table we built before, but you'll see some new data types on there. We'll build an employee form. I'll show you how to put pictures in your forms so you can display them on the form and on a printable report. We'll make a name badge report where we can make name badges for all of our employees with their picture, name, title, and a company logo. This class follows Access Beginner Level 5, which is very important, especially for Lesson 1 in today's class, where we make the address queries. Level 5 covers query criteria, null values, very important for today, and parameter queries. Today's class will be using Access 2010. 2007 is almost identical. If you're using 2003 or earlier, you should still be able to follow along, but you'd be better off getting my Access 2003 lessons from my website. You are encouraged to build the database that I build in class yourself, follow along with the videos and make the database yourself, but if you're lazy like me and you want to just download a copy, go to accesslearningzone.com slash databases and you can grab a copy of the database from this class and from the previous class if you want to start off from that spot. My courses are broken up into four groups, beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. My beginner courses are for Novus users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The expert classes are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. Once you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the true potential of Microsoft Access. Each series is broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level one. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. Once you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally, the developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com forums. To get the most out of this course, 
I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to make queries that are interested in customer address information. The first query will show us only customers who have full addresses. The second query will show us customers who are missing any bit of address information, whether it's the street address, the city, state, postal code, and so on. Then we'll make a new set of mailing labels and a report for our secretary to check on customers who are missing address information. In lesson two, we're going to build an employee table, which will be similar to our customer table, but will have some different fields. In lesson three, we will construct our employee form. In lesson four, we'll learn how to insert the employee's picture into their record on the employee form. In lesson five, we'll make printable name badges with the employee's picture, name, title, and a company logo.